Let's make this tulip potted plant. We need to crochet six tulips. Make two tulips for each color and crochet six short leaves and six long leaves. Each tulip has two leaves, a short one and a long one. Now let's crochet the tulip. Working in a spiral, so you don't need to join the rounds at the end. Just keep going, working into the next stitch on the previous row. We'll demonstrate with deep pink yarn. Please refer to the methods of crocheting, ignoring the yarn color. Working into a magic ring. In round one, first work one chain stitch. The chain stitch is finished. Then you need to work six single crochets. One single crochet is done. Place a locking stitch marker in the first stitch. Such a V shape stands for one stitch. Two single crochets are finished. Three. Four. Five, six, after six single crochets are finished, pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Working in a spiral, so you don't need to join the rounds at the end. Just keep going, working into the next stitch on the previous row. In round 2, work 6 increases. Increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Okay, one single crochet is finished. Then you need to work one more single crochet in the same stitch. Place the marker in the first stitch. Work one more single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, one increase is done.
continue. Work two single crochets in the same stitch. You need to finish six increases for this round. In the same stitch, there are two single crochets. One, two. One, two. Round two is completed. In round three, you have to make a set of one single crochet, one increase for six times. Okay, one single crochet. Then place the marker in the first stitch for each round. Then work one increase, which means two single crochets in the same stitch. Then one single crochet, then one increase. Repeat until you finish this round. Round three is finished. Remove the marker and continue with round four. In round four, you have to make a set of two single crochets, one increase for six times. One single crochet, two single crochets, then work one increase. Place the marker in the first stitch. Okay, work two single crochets in the same stitch. Repeat one, two single crochets, then one increase. Repeat this set until you finish this round. Remove the marker when you finish round 4. In rounds 5 to 12, work 24 single crochets for each round. Place the marker in the first stitch.
one five is finished. Also work twenty four single crochets for round six. Complete the remaining rounds in the same way. Round twelve is completed. Remove the marker. Pull the loop bigger. Break yarn, leaving a yarn tail with a length about ten to fifteen centimeters. Pull the yarn tail out. Thread the yarn tail into a yarn needle. And make the needle go through the second stitch. And then back through the last stitch. Counting from the stitch where the yarn tail comes out, let the needle go through the seventh stitch inside out. Don't pull the yarn tight for now. Counting from the stitch where the yarn tail comes out, let the needle go through the seventh stitch inside out. Do it again. Also, do it again. So the needle will be just back to the start. Then remove the needle. 